Welcome back to another episode of Four Expedition Adventurer. In this episode, I embark on an impromptu flight adventure with my good friend Alan in his Piper Aero 3 single prop plane. Join us for stunning aerial views as we fly across the beautiful state of Arizona. The next episode of Four Expedition Adventure starts now. Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Four Expedition Adventure. I'm Scott Luthold. Today I've got something really fun that I'm going to be doing. I wasn't planning on doing any adventure filming this weekend. I was going to wait until next weekend and let my ankle heal up after ankle surgery just one more week. I was going to go on a bikepacking trip next weekend, and then the weekend after that I was going to head to New Mexico, as most of you already know. However, my good friend Alan reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to go up in an airplane with him today. He's got a really nice little piper he keeps in a hangar over at Deer Valley Airport, and of course... Uh, I wasn't going to turn that down. I thought it would be a really good opportunity to go up into the air, capture some beautiful video footage of Arizona from the sky, and share that with all of you. It's a Thursday today. I was planning on working all day, probably on the membership portal and other things like that. However, when you're self-employed, you know, you have an opportunity to kind of shift things around when things like this come up. And so I'm going to take off today and probably work a little bit extra over the weekend or something like that. But uh, that's okay. That's just how things are when you're self-employed and opportunities come up. You certainly don't want to turn them down. You want to seize those opportunities. So it should be a really good time. Alan's a really great guy. He's been flying for a long, long time. This is the first time I've ever gone up in an airplane with him. So it'll be a lot of fun and we'll probably do some more of this in the future. If you haven't become a subscriber to my channel, I encourage you to become one. Of course, be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when videos go live. And if you'd like to support for Expedition, go to our store on our website. We've got a lot of really cool things in there you can buy. And if you'd like to become a member of Team 4X, go to forexpedition.com slash join to learn more. I really look forward to sharing this episode with you, so sit back and enjoy the ride. This is going to be fun. I to check the flaps. I'm pulling the flaps up. Nope, oh, testing the flaps. Alan's going through his pre-flight. So this is a Piper Turbo Aero 3. Flaps are solid. Taking the pins for the ailerons. Pull the other one up and down. I'm watching my yokes go left and right. Ah, interesting. Make sure it all correlates. At the tabs, and then this is a. Where do you fill up the fuel? Um, we'll, we'll fill up when we come back. We've got a, um, a self serve fuel island. Do you always fill it on return so that the next person has it full? Yeah, our agreement is partners. Uh, we keep it filled up to the tabs, which basically means you've got about 50 useful gallons. Oh, okay. So this is called a sump drain, right? You've seen this before when you've flown with small planes. But what I'm doing is, the, so it's the low part of the of the the tank that's in this wing. Yeah. Um, any water or debris or dirt or anything that might be fouling the fuel will go to the bottom of that drain, and so I'm draining it out in this little jar to check and make sure that it's clean and it doesn't have any water in it. Ah, interesting. Okay. And then you just pour it back in. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. They all flow through to a common delivery point here, which flows into the fuel injection system. Okay. So I'm checking that to make sure that we, this is a sump drain for what's called the gascalator. Same thing. Making just sure it's for no water. Making sure it's blue. No dirt. And 
Nice light blue. Yeah, exactly. And just pour it, I see, pour it back in there too. And every single time I fly, I always check these sump drains in Arizona, and I've never once seen water in the fuel. Really? But, but you gotta check. It could still happen. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, one of the common causes of water in the fuel is if you're tied down or you condensation and you know, drip drips. Got it. So in Arizona, it's so dry, the likelihood of that happening is pretty slim.
This is the famous Pinal Air Park. Its primary function serves as a boneyard for civilian commercial aircraft. It's the largest commercial aircraft storage and heavy maintenance facility in the world. Originally built in 1942 as the Marina Airfield, during World War II it served as a flight training facility for the military. It also served as the headquarters for the CIA air operations during the Vietnam War. Many people don't realize that Arizona is a massive agriculture state. Believe it or not, fields such as these span the desert all the way from Phoenix to Tucson. What's interesting is that many of the dust storms in Arizona start right here in these fields. These storms produce high winds that pick up the top soil off of these fields and stir them around and create walls of dust called haboobs. Arizona is very well known for its industrial three C's, cotton, cattle, and copper. The high quality Pima cotton is grown here. There are also many legacy family cattle ranches and far too many copper mines like this one called the Eye of Grande located near Casa Grande, Arizona. I think it was great. Get me a little vertical so you get up above the dashboard. Yeah. All right, everybody, I think that's it for this episode of Four Expedition Adventure. I really hope you enjoyed flying around the state of Arizona with me and my good friend Alan on this beautiful fall afternoon in Arizona. As always, I would love it if you became a subscriber to my channel. And of course, be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when videos go live. And if you'd like to support Four Expedition, we have a lot of great products in our store you can buy. And if you'd like to become a member of Team 4X, definitely go to 4expedition.com join to learn more. Until the next time, take care.